Oh yeah. So uh, let's teach ourselves um, thermal uh, thermal management. We will get ourselves some frames. Uh, we're, I thought we had more frames. I think uh, I think there's more frames over here. No, those are organic supplies. Nope, that's not it. Okay, so here's some iron frames. Iron frame. Okay, yeah, they're both iron frames. That's fine. Okay, and we'll find ourselves some uh, sort of semi uh, flat ground to start on. Yeah, right there's fine. And then through the power of editing, um, we will get to the point where uh, this is done. Now here we are at our first trick. Um, we don't have a lot of resources at this point. And uh, let's just say we didn't put that there for now. We're going to put this in there. Then this in there. Like that. Close that up like that. We'll say we'll ha we have we have this. Okay. Now there are uh, one, two, three, four, four things in there. Okay. Now we will start sucking in some air. There. So we've pumped it up to almost fifty. And let's take some precautionary measures here. We'll um, we'll deconstruct a few of these. Let's say we we haven't put those in yet. It's just easy for me to you know do this to them. Then we pull out that one. That will bring our pressure up to uh, 62. So it's about ready to blow. Oh, it blowed. And it blew the right one. So we wanted that one to blow. And that's the one it blowed. But we can... Uh, uh, you can control that a whole lot more if you put the pressure down just a little bit lower than I did. Now, the reason that we want this will become apparent in a second once I get everything all sorted out again. Okay. So now that's all um, uh, secured in here. Let's do the same procedure again to this side. And I think everybody's starting to understand what I'm doing here. We'll pump the air up once again, but this time uh, we actually want to uh, suck out it in here. We want uh, we want this uh, area to be as low as possible for pressure-wise. Uh, we want it inwards. Okay, that should be about enough. Delete that pipe. And that pipe. And now, if we get out of here, that pipe is blown. We now have free vents. There. Free vents. We also need another piece of important equipment from our um, thing will blobber over here. We will need uh, the portable scrubber and oops, not that one. We'll turn that off to save battery. And the portable air conditioner. Those two are necessary things. Where's the base? The base is right here. There we go. Now we can go back into our airlock and vent everything to atmosphere. This is also why we have block walls in here is because um, the differential temperature, the differential pressure between in here and out there is 200 some odd um, PSI. And we can suck some air back in here, which is going to be super slow and it doesn't matter. So let's not do that.
there. So, in here we have about um, um, 89 kilopascals. Let's bring that down to uh, 35, because I think that's what the... I'll throw these over here for now. Because 35, 35 is what's out here. Yeah, 238, so 40 should be uh, about the limit we want to do. So we will put the sucky suck on. Okay, so we got 42 in here. Then we're going to open up this and bring us back up to 75 for a safety margin. And we will unpack uh, this thing. And let's take this and put it in the center of the room. And we'll take the portable air conditioner and we will unpack it. No, we won't throw it. We'll unpack it and put it right here. There. Now we have an, a portable air conditioner. We grab a battery. Put the battery in there. And we'll wait for this to finish uh, venting. It's, it's probably going to vent a fair amount of that, uh, um, that O2 out of there. But we'll keep it at 75 and we'll turn this on and that'll bring down the temperature a little more rapidly now you might be saying oh we're wa we're wasting all of this this oxygen here now we can get the we we can do this later or we can use a much smaller um a much smaller room to get to this point but uh Let's yeah. Let's drain that battery right there. Uh, but we do want to save space to grow plants and to um, uh, feed ourselves and stuff. But we can also grab this and we'll put this right here for now. And let's say that we've gone out mining and doing stuff, and we've got ourselves some iron, copper and gold. And we'll shove all of that in there. Turn it on and make ourselves a um, hydraulic pipe bender. So we have our hydraulic pipe bender. We're going to put that down right here. And then we're going to Weld it, put wire, weld it, then use a screwdriver. Because for some reason, um, giving people a headache is is uh, complexity. Don't ask me. I have no idea. Oh, I can put one right there too. It doesn't matter. So now that we have this you this, we'll grab that, we'll put that over there. And we'll eject everything from here. Put a pedestal, that's what we need. That's what I was going to show you. So we're going to make a connector. And we'll just make a normal connector because we don't have very much resources right now. Grab you, put you over here. Okay, so now we, this may be backwards. Put the pedestal down there, and if this is backwards, we're going to move that pedestal. Uh, well, let's not use that as an ex as as to uh, see which way our pedestal is going because it always it already has hot air in there, and if we um, tie it down and then move it, nope, that's the right place. Okay, so. That's pointing in the right direction. We'll put this one down here. And then we'll clamp it down like that. Then we can put pipe outside. And then we can put a vent on the end of that, because now we have a pipe bender. And we can make a vent.
There. And now all of our, our hot air is getting spit out over there. And how much power do we have here? 80, that's fine. Oops, we will charge up those batteries. Turn that off. Oh, uh, we'll get a... Um, hmm, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get a, a pollutant. Because this needs to take out pollutants. Oops, that's the wrong side. Is this charged yet? Almost. How much power we have here? 54. So we're still on the first day after building all of this. And I mean, we could we could have made this much smaller, but this is the size that I went. Um, we could have not built this side. Um, and then we'd have a much smaller area. Also, now that we have uh, an, now we can make actual vents, we can get rid of this. Although we would have wanted that um, in the beginning because it it might have taken us a while to mine and cook up all the resources uh, we wanted. So <laughs> that was very useful for us at the time. There we go. It's I think it's also faster if the pipe is blown. Um, to suck air in and out. I'm not 100% certain, but that's that's what I think anyways. Okay, so this is done. Now we will filter out all the pollutant that's in the air because we're getting ready to put uh, plants in here. And we'll also continue cooling down the uh, temperature of the base. Let's also assume that we have uh, at least some coal at this point, because we've dug all the rest of the stuff. We'll grab some coal, we'll throw it up there, we'll turn the generator on. That'll give us some power. So we can continue cooling. We're already down to 101 degrees. So we're, we're well on our way here. Uh, we could probably cool with the um, with the with the liquid water that we have in here uh, if we were to make some um, some radiator pipes. But we don't really need to do that right now. We just need to get this um, down to about 25 degrees Celsius, and that's not going to be terribly terribly hard to do. Now, uh, because we got time, um, we can just show how we might get um, oxygen out of here. Because we already shown how to make the connector, so we can just make another connector. Uh, right here. Actually, we probably shouldn't do that because now we have poison in here. Yeah, we've got poison in there. So, um, you can make a... Um, um, an air filter, or you can just shove um, the air that we have uh, in the room into your tank. Um, you can take this outside and vent it. We'll show you how to take this outside and vent it. I'm sure everybody knows how to do this. But, of course, I didn't know at first either. Even though I've been playing it for a while, I avoided these scrubbers because, like, who cares kind of thing. Okay, so now that's empty. What I can do is I can switch this to reverse. And then, uh, uh, if I can get that switch... Uh, this is going to be a bad idea, but we can... There we go. 
you have that switch there. Turn this into reverse. Put that back on with the battery. There we go. Now that's been emptied out. You can make a connector. You don't have to. Uh, this is just what I do sometimes. And then a regulator. And then a storage thing for your um, your small tanks, your little tanks, your canisters. Once this turns the right goddamn way, set it to uh, 8,000 uh, kPa. Now, normally we'd have um, an oxygen canister here, but uh, we'll just put make a normal canister just to show that this this works and we don't have to panic here. Is this? No, oh, that's fuel. We don't want fuel. We don't want fuel. I think this is it. Yeah, that's the plain one. Go here, click, and then we put this thing. Oh, we have to stop this from being reversed. Put that on there. We change poison with an oxygen filter. We grab a battery and then that will fill up with, um, with oxygen. We don't want it to get too low uh, because this whole place uh, needs some pressurization. There we go. And uh, we got a few megapascals in here and that will just naturally fill this up to um, eight megapascals. And then you have, you have air to breathe uh, outside. Uh, now the temperature in here is 15 degrees, so we can shut this off now. Put this back in here, put that back in there. Put that back in there. Charge those up just in case we need them. And we're going to assume that we've set up stuff to go uh, to get a trader. And we now have... potato seeds. I'm going to assume we have some potato seeds. And we plant the potato. And now we've established ourselves in um, somewhat of a, of a good place. So every time the temperature goes above uh, let's say 25 degrees or something, or 30 degrees, we can then turn this on and uh, cool the place down. Now the opposite is true. We can turn this on here because it's a little warm in here, or a little cold in here. Now we need a battery. Of course we need a battery. 
we'll grab a battery. And we'll heat it up just a tiny... Okay, it doesn't like being heated up. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, it doesn't work. It probably is not working because outside temperature is too high or something. I don't know. <clears throat> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now that we've learned how to do this and how to set up our uh, first um, base and we're, we're all safe and sound in here, uh, we'll now move our attention um, to uh, outside. Now remember, at this point, we still haven't made steel. We're just running off of um, our... Uh, we're just running off of iron and stuff. Um, the trader hasn't... Uh, um, we're not really selling the trader anything either at this point. We probably want to sell it um, food. That's why we got food over there. Because food is, like, the best thing to sell the traders. So... We go back up to this, um, uh, our pipe bender, and we get, oops, not, not air conditioner, we get an Atmo, uh, atmospherics kit. And there, we have a, a tank of eight male pascals that uh, we could breathe if we needed to. Uh, we don't need to. And the rest of this, we'll have to get it off its pedestal first. We turn that back on. Put it back down to the pedestal. And the reason we do that is because we can't change that lever while it's on the pedestal. But this way, while it's on the pedestal, I don't think there's anything there. Uh, there's still still three megapascals. What we can do is we can empty out all of our leftovers in here, back into the air, and that way, um, whenever we need um, uh, whenever we need we need oxygen, we can just do that very temporarily, or we can, you know, just put a um, a uh, a vent down here because you don't need this you just had a passive vent uh, in here it'll fill up garbage air but garbage air is not too bad there's a lot of carbon dioxide in here so your tank would automatically filter that out you would be using a lot of filters because your um, waste tank would separate out all the carbon dioxide right away but you can do it that way too. It it doesn't really super matter. But now we have this. We go back outside. And we have an atmospheric unit. And we'll put that we'll set that back a little bit this far. Now we'll continue to use just um, normal pipes here. Let's just use the ones that we have on us right now. Okay, now that we have a daisy chain of um, um, air conditioners here, uh, we're just going to power it with an RTG by now, or right now. 
you could still you could power this from a battery but not from a small battery but I probably wouldn't do that and we want uh, temperature in there to be to, uh, 25 degrees 25 degrees now we add 50 to that to make 70 because 50 degrees is about all these these things can do um, without your efficiency dropping to nothing so uh, uh, 75 uh, plus 50 would be 130. 170. Uh, 125. Or 120, sorry. No, 220. Is that correct? 7, 8, 9, 10. No, that's, I did it right, okay, so that'd be 75, okay, yeah, 70, okay, I did that correctly, I just, the first one I didn't do properly. Okay, so now that we have all these connected, and they're all, um, ready to go, we take out these center pipes here. You can also use valves there if you want, but it, it super doesn't matter. I'm just using this to fill it up with uh, some kind of gas and then we'll destroy the last one and now we'll start turning them all on actually we won't turn them all on at the same time because we might blow our wire but uh, we'll do this so we have to wait for this one to come down to um, uh, 370 which won't be long Okay, now we're down to 370 in this one. We will turn this on, and this will come down. We will remove that from our hand. And uh, we'll, this one will come down to um, 320. Uh, now, it's not holding very well, uh, but it's bouncing between um, 25 and 38, so probably should bring it down a little bit more. That's a little too cold. That's pretty good. So all of these should start settling down a bit. There we go. Now it's starting to settle down. Getting weird pops every now and then, but that's just because our efficiency is isn't uh, uh, isn't super great. Especially because um, it's sitting outside here in uh, very warm weather, and all of these pipes are uninsulated, but we're still managing to keep. Uh, some kind of um, chain of cooling happening here. This one is a little too hot. This one is hot too. Ooh, this one's perfect. Are you perfect? Oh, because temperatures are very close. Uh, is this still? Yeah, this is still having trouble, and that's because they're all non—they're all not insulated at this point. Plus, when the sun comes out, it's going to get—it's um, going to get—it's uh, going to warm it up quite a bit. But this is how you could do it uh, with no uh, insulation whatsoever, and you could cheat. Uh, I say it's cheating. A lot of people say it's cheating, but you can then encapsulate all of your, and you're still not uh, using any steel. This is not the, the greatest of ways of doing this, 
but it'll increase efficiency uh, quite a bit. Or um, a non cheaty way would just be to have all of these in a vacuum. But their operating uh, pressure would not be as, as efficient because they all have an operating temperature. If we can get in there. Now we can't see the operating temperature. But it's there. Actually, let's trap ourselves. We'll do a quick save. And then we'll trap ourselves inside. Or we won't. We will grab ourselves in there. This, ah, oh, come on, come on. There we go. Trap ourselves. Help low. Okay, and then we can look at this, and differential temperature is. Eh, not that great. I'm surprised the operating temperature is good. Because we're kind of trapped in here. Although I guess we still have a temperature? Hmm. Oh well. Uh, that's, that's one way of doing it. Uh, but if all of these were inside, it would be it would be much, 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 much better. Uh, and our plant is nicely growing, so we're making oxygen. Our our temperature is being um, nicely regulated. We have our cheat pipe up there. But. We didn't need to make that daisy chain. We could have easily have done that with um, the portable air conditioner. Because the portable air conditioner... Um, the portable air conditioner just works. It's not as complaining or as whiny as these guys are. And as you can see in here, it's 23 degrees. It's a nice temperature. Uh, and everything is okie dokie. And we are on um, a very hot planet. So this is the hardest way to uh, deal with temperature. We'll go back outside and we'll, we'll look at it one more time. And I'm pretty sure that I've only done this four days. I've only, I've, and I'm cheating, so things uh, happen quicker. But you could still do all of this very quickly if you got, if you mined enough resources. Mining, what's that over there? Mining would be the hardest thing. What are those? Am I seeing under the ground? Is that, oh, that's nothing. Never mind. Um, but if I, if I grab a network thingy, open this up. And we look at how much is being uh, drawn here. It's about uh, uh, three, about three kilowatts, three kilowatts of electricity to cool that down. And um, that would be a lot lower um, if we had more efficiency. So if we had steel, let's say that we had steel and we're gonna replace all of these with uh, insulated pipes. Okay, now that we have this whole thing enclosed and everything is with um, is in um, 
insulated pipe, except for this last one here that I have done incorrectly for some reason. And we'll do that correctly now. Okay, now that we have everything closed up and nicely insulated with these insulated pipes, the uh, the thermal temp the uh, thermal load on all of them is uh, very stable. Uh, the uh, the load on all of them is very stable. So now we'll see how much electricity they're pulling. And now they're only pulling 90 watts. That's it. So all of these things. Uh, nicely um, um, piped up is only taking 90 watts of electricity and they're all cascading down um, pulling down 50 degrees at a time uh, the efficiency rating is 100% for pressure efficiency it kind of bounces in between 62 and 103 percent for some reason for uh, temper di temperature differential efficiency um, I don't know why that is. That should be correct. I thought it was 30, but... Power low. Uh, I mean 50. It may not be 50. Uh, we could add more on the end of that at some point. I genuinely forgot the game was running. So this uh, few minute part is a couple hours in the making. So we have the array set up here. Okay. And I just put in a program. You don't really need the program. And all that will do is attempt to get the um, air conditioner up to 50% uh, efficiency. Some of them are not at 50% efficiency. Some are super way above that. Those ones obviously aren't. But <clears throat> when we start working down the line, these ones are, are more efficient. Um, if you look, there are several... Um, efficiency things in there. You have option, uh, operational um, temperature efficiency. I really don't know what that wants it to be. It could be that it that they wants me to cool the machines down even more than they are. I thought maybe um, the differential between the temperature in the pipe and the temperature of the air was significant because you can see if you go down to this guy this guy's 100% operation, operationally efficient, and it's the pretty much the same temperature as the room. This one's also 100%, and uh, it's pretty close to the temperature of the room. And then this one uh, goes to 88%, then you've got 66%, uh, 50, is that 50? Yeah, 51%, 44%. So <clears throat> these... Um, uh, those uh, air conditioners back there, we will go look at them. Uh, this one should be very close to the uh, operating at the um, um, at the temperature of the air, but it's at 36%. And this one's 38%, and that one's 40%. So, um, even when this was closed off, and uh, this was in uh, room temperature air, that didn't that didn't mean anything. I also set these over time to um, suck in a lot of air to operate the uh, the cooling with. Uh, so that doesn't that uh, doesn't seem to affect efficiency very much um, either. Um, how much you have in there? Because this one right here has got like uh, no, not that one. Okay, so this one is the lowest one, and uh, this one is n is not really significantly efficient, more efficient than the others. But this is what you have to do um, on a really hot planet to get your temperature down to room temperature. You daisy chain all of these together. If you have just one, um, it's going to max out how much electricity it uses, and it's going to be very, very, very slow cooling it down. Even though um, all of these ran for uh, eight hours and are taking a very long time to uh, equalize, it brought the temperature down to room temperature very quickly. And the um, portable air conditioners 
are like super overpowered in that uh, regard. That they have no operational efficiency, no uh, um, temperature differential efficiency. They just work. And really, I wouldn't I wouldn't bother using um, stand uh, ACs uh, if you have the choice. Now we're going to load up another save, and uh, we're going to show you um, how to handle. Uh, temperature on a cold planet, which is much easier. Now we're on the uh, plant test base um, on the moon, <clears throat> and we see that uh, that we have a very good temperature in here of 24 degrees, and it's being held um, fairly effectively. If we go outside this airlock, we'll see one um, stand air conditioner, and this is being hooked up in a loop to the uh, to the room and this room is being held at 25 degrees all right this is the wrong card 25 degrees and we're very close to the 25 degrees but it's a uh, waste pipe is at 20 degrees so we have why do we have zero efficiency It could be that the game just hasn't uh, hasn't fully loaded everything yet, but that would normally be um, near 100% efficiency, but for some reason it just... Why are you not 100% efficient? Give me a minute. There we go. It was just bugged out. I had to... Um... I had to destroy it and recreate it, and that happens a lot on this game because we have uh, oh so great coding by our devs. This line is our main, um, now let's just call it a, an atmospheric dump line. Um, any atmosphere that we're not using, we would put into here. And typically, that would be stuff out of furnaces and, and things like that. And they are, and that is pretty hot. Um, that's just to, to take out uh, certain chemicals that we want. So how to control the temperature with the, in that is you use radiators. You don't have to use these um, uh, huge radiators, these uh, these atmospheric radiators, but uh, you don't you don't have to not. And all of that is controlled by this uh, turbo pump. It could easily be a um, Just a digital valve or something, uh, but because I had um, Elmo Tricks' uh, mod put in the um, the atmospheric overhaul mod, um, you actually have to push your uh, fluids around to make them cool and everything. Uh, so to fill the network, I was just using uh, ice water ice um, as a coolant. So every time the temperature of the um, water went above 20 degrees Celsius, it would just inject a little ice, and here's the, the, the program to do that. And if we want to take a little peeky peek at the program, it is uh, nothing special. Let's turn this off. <clears throat> and turn that off. And we'll import there. And this it's nothing special, it's just max temperature, min temperature, and it just turns on and off uh, whatever device it's connected to, to, um, to cool down the, uh, the network. Uh, and this was just so I could rapidly heat it up after a crash, um, with, uh, combustion, but we don't need to look at that because it would be, um, Heat would be your, your would normally be your biggest problem, and this is the uh, block storage. So all of the um, all of the waste gases that we're generating that we don't uh, we don't want to keep or we don't want to keep uh, in the base, uh, we would dump in here, and uh, we'll take a look at what's behind the. Uh, 
the magic door here. I forgot to take my jetpack off, uh, but that's fine. Uh, we have the um, solid uh, solid generator here, the cold generator, which is pumping out its hot um, Power low. its hot uh, uh, carbon dioxide. And we're now stuck in the corner because there is a lot of air, air gas flow through here. Uh, we have a network of pipes. There is one um, vent for each square. And then we have one um, a radiator for uh, each square. And what that does is it just equalizes the temperature for the room and uh, uh, for, the, for the water and the atmosphere. Power low. All of the... Uh, all of the heat just uh, naturally equalizes across uh, both of these mediums. So the, 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 uh, the atmosphere constantly wants to warm up because we have the greenhouse exposed to the sun, um, we have the, um, the solid generator, the solid fuel generator over there um, spitting out carbon dioxide and generating um, heat. That is being transferred to the, um, to the water and then the water is carrying it away to those uh, to those radiators outside. Whee! Uh, this pipe is to just get get rid of waste gases, and the reason it's so high is just I just don't want trace gases down here screwing up readings. Now, you might be asking yourself, why have these two systems? Why have this um, AC sitting here um, providing um, uh, cooling for the room uh, when you have this uh, nice controlled water temperature? It's because the water temperature is not exactly that controlled. Um, you typically, you can only control it in a range um, of like a few degrees. And the less fluid you have in your um, in your pipe, the more variable it'll be. So, if I only said had uh, one uh, millipascal, megapascal in there, and um, the temperature went above the uh, above the desired um, um, temperature it would drop very quickly. Um, I would only have like one valve on there maybe, or one uh, uh, vent on there maybe, and it would still like force the temperature down a few degrees. But because we have almost uh, 25 megapascals, it's not that hard. Um, I even have to put on uh, an extra heating element just to, uh, um, just to make sure that there is an upward pressure and it doesn't just constantly go down. An upward thermal pressure that doesn't just constantly go down. You can see it's clicking on and off. But that's very hard um, if you want something um, super specific in a range. And it's difficult to change because there's no thermostat. You have to write your own thermostat. Whereas these um, disgustingly uh, inefficient, almost oh useless air conditioners have a nice thermostat on it. So you could put that in the base with just two vents on either side and then your waste pipe going to whatever your dump zone is. Keep your keep your dump uh um your dump take down to within 30 degrees of your target temperature for your base and it's fine. It'll work. It'll work fine. So let's ignore the uh, rest of what I have to say here. Uh, it didn't make much sense, and all I was really doing was bitching about the devs. But that's how you deal with um, thermal energy in your base. On Venus, you daisy chain a bunch of ACs together, or you use the uh, portable AC, which is 
almost certainly going to be nerfed uh, at some point in the future. Um, if you're on a cold planet, you just try to bring down the temperature of your highest mass uh, of atmosphere, which is typically whatever you're dumping out of your furnace uh, using uh, radiators and valves and things like that, which you can control manually. I show that in my, uh, my playthrough. And then you use um, one or two um, uh, air conditioners to fine-tune uh, your temperature from, you know, like a, a 5 to 10 degree variation to something that's more like 1 or 2 degrees variation. Um, you can also very easily cool your base with uh, ice, any type of ice, even volatile ice, you can use to cool your base. Because as long as you keep it away from uh, the rest of your atmospheres, it's not going to cause a problem. You just send it through a pipe with uh, radiators on it, and then you drain it into your uh, furnace or whatever you're going to use, um, a gas turbine or whatever, um, to be able to use it, create electricity or create heat or whatever you need to do. Um, and ice is very easy to find, even on the hottest of planets. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can mine it. And you can buy it from the traders for not very much um, credits. And if you have a large uh, hydroponics crop, uh, you can earn quite a lot of money because the, the traders really want crops. The traders really want crops. Uh, and I think that the uh, developers are trying to push people towards using traders more. Um, but that's it. That's the demonstration. See you.